Welcome, and thank you for joining us for today's encouragement from Our Daily Bread on the 19th of March, 2024. The Bible reading today is Colossians, chapter 3, verse 22, to chapter 4, verse 1. Slaves, obey your earthly masters in everything, and do it not only when their eye is on you and to curry their favour, but with sincerity of heart and reverence for the Lord. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for human masters, since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. It is the Lord Christ you are serving. Anyone who does wrong will be repaid for their wrongs, and there is no favouritism. Masters, provide your slaves with what is right and fair, because you know that you also have a master in heaven. Today's article titled Master in Heaven was written by Jasmine Go. Singapore's Ministry of Manpower announced in 2022 that all migrant domestic workers must be given at least one rest day a month. Employers had to respect this day of rest. They were not allowed to compensate the workers financially instead of giving them the day off. Employers, however, were concerned they wouldn't have someone to care for their loved ones on those days. While the logistics of caring could be solved by making alternative arrangements, their unwillingness to see the need for their workers to rest wasn't as easy to solve. Treating others considerately isn't a new issue. The Apostle Paul lived in a time where servants were seen as the property of their masters. Yet, in the last line of his instruction to the church on how Christ-like households should operate, he says that masters are to treat their servants justly. Another translation says, be fair with them. Just as Paul tells the servants to work for the Lord, not for human masters, he reminds the masters also of Jesus' authority over them. You also have a master in heaven. His purpose was to encourage the Colossian believers to live as those whose ultimate authority is Christ. In our interaction with others, whether as an employer, employee, in our homes or communities, we can ask God to help us do what's right and fair. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, please forgive me for times when I don't treat others fairly. Help me to submit to you as the master of my life. Amen. Thanks for listening today. My name's Peter and today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.